Oh, hell. I thought this whole thing was over with, with the rape crap and everything. Conference report made a couple of good little joke videos, finished the whole thing off, but no. <laughs> it still continues. Anyway, astronaut is with this other guy, whatever he is, the stupid finger guy. I can't think of a joke. Uh, but anyway, and um, I only watched a minute of this and I said, oh, come on. This is bullshit. So let's go with the bullshit. That he won't just scream at me. I, I need to. I need to find something really good. <laughs> so I, I. I mean, I haven't been following this this debate already, but a few arguments that have gotten in, into it, pe uh, it, people in comments, mm -hmm. they say things like, you know, there's just no evolutionary advantage for rape for humans at all, mm -hmm. and that can't be true. That cannot be true mm -hmm. in a society where a woman is made to marry her rapist. Mm -hmm. Is there an evolutionary advantage to no, rape in that society? Yeah, that's <laughs> well, no, there isn't, because you know that if the, if these, some guy is beating up and raping some other guy's sister or some other guy's daughter, okay, you know, they're they're not going to sit there and welcome him and say, oh yeah, hello, son-in-law. They're going to kill him, okay. Uh, but if there's some other circumstance, maybe that pans out. But we're not talking about culture here. We're taught the argument was made that the reason why rape happens is that because we've been biologically made to rape. That rape in that long past, the short, you know, the medium past, not not the recent past, not yesterday, not a thousand years ago, but in our history, was a successful biological strategy for organisms, especially human beings. Even um, that was the argument being made that this was something built into our genetic code. Bullshit. It's not an argument about bad culture. It's an argument about whether. Um, uh, breaking uh, the, the woman's power to select is somehow is evolutionarily advantageous, and it's not. It's only a short-term gain for one stupid individual, but over the long term, it's fail all over the fucking place. Society? Absolutely. Of course. So this argument that, uh -huh. that there is no evolutionary advantage is an entirely cultural point. They are blinded to the fact that there is an evolutionary advantage to rape just because they hate it so much. Oh, it's just stupid to call it a evolutionary advantage when it's completely built out of culture, when you're talking about changes that have taken place since we invented condoms. I mean, that's not fucking evolution anymore, asshole. So get your terminology right. Do not use evolution to describe culture. This isn't you're just going to fuck the whole thing. We're talking about genetic evolution. We're talking about a DNA character trait that exists that has rape written on it. Now, do, do you, are you contending that there's somewhere in our DNA the word rape is written on there somewhere? Fucking asshole. I really like astronaut, but he's being a fucking asshole. And it is hate-worthy. Of course. I mean, yeah. hate-worthy. But the fact that, but the fact that we... I mean, even the Joe, oh, it's even hate-worthy. Yeah, it's, oh yeah, it's hate-worthy to, you know, have your, you know, pins put in your jaw and so, well, whatever, you fucking asshole, and have somebody else impose their sexuality. Every, can you imagine, I mean, some women, they, they got to live their whole life with that thing. So every context, every time they see a penis, it's going to have rapist written on it. Uh, you know, some past trauma. I mean, this isn't just a uh, hate-worthy. Fuck you. Talk about it? Does that really give cover to anyone? And Mendham's point was that, well, if someone goes to Mannix's video and somehow sees him as being somehow rape apologetic and if they like Mannix enough for TJ or whoever, they might say, oh, maybe it's okay to rape. And like, I'm thinking, like, even if they don't get that from him, if, if there's someone that really wants to rape badly enough and they're that close that they think that maybe Mannix is, is the key to the... Look, asshole, this whole thing started with TJ talking about date rape, okay? There's all kinds of rape, so I'm not making the argument that there's some guy who wants to break a woman's face and shit in her eyes, okay? There's some rapist that want to do that, okay? That that guy's going to be convinced one way or the other by TJ. But that fact of the matter is, is you cannot deny it, that what, how people talk to each other and how they talk about events and happenings and how they dismiss them or how they laugh at them or how they make a joke about them all right does influence people's behavior and how, how much risk they're willing to take I mean you could joke about driving drunk and then somebody could have a light attitude about driving drunk and it's no big deal so you swerve a little bit you hit a cat now and then it's no big deal okay I, I mean this is not inconsequential you fucking cunt you know the 
Like, oh, really? It's okay. <laughs> Maddox the Pirate says it's okay. I mean, which he never said anyway. Yeah. But, you know. I don't know. I, at the same time, I don't think Gary's arguing that uh, no. that would be a, a legal offense. It would just be right. what excused a person to do it. In the right. Mind. Right. That would be the that would be the right. trigger. That would be or the that would be not the trigger. That would be the one last thing. That the last one last bastion of defense. Should I do it or not? And right. Then, and then their head would right. click. It would say, okay. Yeah. Well, it's okay because it's a. So your argument is is that there's no last uh, okay <laughs> that does uh, push people over edges. So so there's no way you know there's nothing nobody gets convinced by something or persuaded or encouraged or inclined or so that's why when they had that whole movie about the accused and the fact that the crowd was rooting them on no that was all irrelevant. There's no such thing as a circumstance. A, con a context, right? No such fucking thing. I mean, you're really an asshole if you don't think that TJ has a bunch of little, you know, morons in his audience that would do just about anything he says is cool. Jackass. Evolutionary somehow. Yeah. But no one's making that case. Right. Everyone's just making the case, let's talk about it. Gary would jump all Yeah, talk about what? Again, they are making that case. They are making the case. They're making a defense for rape. They are saying that somehow... It's in our genetics, and that's why rape happens. And so we got to understand these poor rapists because they've got bad genes. It's their, it's, they got a, a, you know, a disorder of their genetics. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, he'd be like, you fucking mealy mouth piece of shit. <laughs> okay, asshole. All right, <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. This is, this is bullshit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this hair flying all around. Ah, nah, don't hurt me. <laughs> yeah, poor guy. <laughs> He's the one screaming, and I'm like, poor Gary. You know, Gary is a pity of a wife. I have the battered wife. <laughs> Find the battered wife. I mean, look, what is variable ass? Variable ass got it for like 15 minutes. I got it for like five. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like begging for the variable ass guy. Oh, what did you get? Okay, I made an argument to your stupid, idiotic video where you basically, again, apologize for apologists for rapists. Okay, like this, uh, like there's something that needs, number one, to be discussed here, which there doesn't. There's absolutely no reason to even go here. This is not how you talk about what we are biologically or psychologically. There's lots of ta issues. You want to talk about our nature, the nature of addiction, the nature of addiction of people to having kids, the nature of, a, of the addiction that makes us have uh, waste preposterous amounts of money on competitive sports and all the other crap that our psychology is owned by. No, what subject are we talking about? Evolutionary psychology wrapped around this idiotic, moronic subject of rape and in what context? Oh, that's right. A guy who basically suggested that women lose the right to say no at some point. Okay, that's the context here, you fucking goddamn weasel. Yeah, very I think much. we should discuss the evolutionary advantages of uh, attacking very a blast because I want to enable people. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're all about. Oh, come on. Who attacked who in the first place, asshole? I mean, realistically, who attacked? I didn't. I didn't come to him. He's the one that made the fucking jackass video saying, "Uh, oh, me and the amazing atheist Maddox, we are all informed and know the truth and have the, and we boldly go where no man has gone before, and we'll discuss this important subject and blah 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 blah." He fucking goddamn more than just asked for it. He came into my, uh, whatever. He put my name in there. He he. <laughs> you know, so he got what he fucking deserved, and I didn't fucking give him shit. I didn't, what, I said, what, I called my fucktard an asshole? Is that what we're talking, is that, is that what now, uh, you know, constitutes outrage? <sighs> Get real. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, well, so yeah, okay, so this is what I, this is what I would say to a method, and I would be like, well, well, Gary, you made, you made the case that we shouldn't talk about the evolutionary advantages of rape because... It might, it might cause someone that is already off the... Oh, fuck you. That is not what I said. Okay? I know. I think, fine. Talk. Let's talk about it. I'm talking about it right now. And I'm pointing out how you fucking assholes are morons. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You don't even know what evolution is, apparently. Because you think somehow memes are, 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 have something to do with the, um, genetics. You know, that our ideas are inherited. Like, we inherit the idea that, oh, yeah, you got to bury the woman if you rape her. Yeah, we inherited that from our chromosomes. Uh, yeah, right. It's part of natural selection. 
Uh, so fuck you, asshole. Um, I'm not making any, I'm not putting a prohibition on the subject. What I'm putting a prohibition on is l you assholes trying to sit there and say you're doing something other than what you're doing. All right, like I said, let's listen to the fucking context. This started a month or two ago when TJ started talking about date rape. All right, and then he got into the subject again. All right, and his suggestion was that rape is a, an imperative. It's something that biology demands of us. Okay, it's not something that just happens out of, out, of, out of deviant psychology, out of sick, broken minds. No. I mean, he thinks sadomasochism is genetically, okay, produced. I think he does. ...to go way off kilter, and if they get some... Yeah, yeah okay, okay, asshole. <laughs> this is what Gary would say. Okay, <laughs> asshole, whatever. Well, I'm talking about rape, and that's not what I meant. It's clear.